Did you ever wonder why there are always two electrons around the atom core? In order to answer this question, we have to understand the Pauli principle. The Pauli principle is a physical law that is used in quantum physics. In its original version, it said that two electrons in an atom can't match in the same quantum state. But what is a quantum state? A quantum state is defined by a combination of quantum numbers, such as major quantum number, minor quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. In the modern formulation, the Pauli principle states that the wave function of a quantum system is anti-symmetric with respect to interchange of identical fermions. So what are fermions? Fermions are a class of elementary particles that include electrons. They obey the statistical laws formulated by the Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. The most important feature of fermions is that they follow the Pauli exclusion principles. Since electrons are fermions, their wave functions must be antisymmetric if you exchange the space coordinates and spins of the electrons. This antisymmetry of the wave functions means that electrons in an atom cannot overlap each other and therefore fill the volume of the atom. Think about it. If two electrons had the same quantum state, the overall wave function of the system would be symmetric. But this is false for identical fermions. Therefore, the Pauli principle requires that electrons in an atom must occupy different quantum states, means that these electrons differ in their quantum state spins. The spin quantum state can be either spin up or spin down, which corresponds to a positive or negative half unit of spin. There can be a maximum of two electrons in an electron shell because there are only two possible spin states. This means that the first shell of the atom can only hold two electrons because it only contains a single orbital with a certain energy level. The additional shells can contain more electrons because they have additional orbitals and suborbitals. So there you go. Now you know that the Pauli principle explains why there are always two electrons in the first shell, or rather, first orbital. If there are any questions, write them in the comments. I will answer all of them. Like and subscribe, it would make me happy.